up, what up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the Heart of a Lion podcast. I am your host, Jay, and you have just stepped into the lion's den. If this is your first time tuning in, then go ahead and hit that follow or the subscribe button from wherever you're listening to the podcast, as well as to make sure you follow the page on Instagram at H-O-A-L podcast. Again, that's at H-O-A-L podcast. If you're a returning listener, then thank you for tuning in again. Thank you for coming back for some more. The support is always appreciated. You know, it's funny because, um, you know, I'll have people who listen to the show sometimes and I'll, I'll get, you know, feedback. They'll text me or uh, call me or comment and say that they listen to my podcast, which is pretty cool. Like I, I, I love when people listen and support, like it's, it's pretty dope. And again, it's appreciated. But what I love the most is when I'll have my daughter come to me and she'll say, daddy, mommy was listening to your podcast in the car or daddy grandma was listening to your podcast. Like it's, 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 it's pretty cool, man, to hear her say that. And I don't, I'm sure she don't know what's going on or what I'm really talking about, but just the fact that she knows my voice and she knows when other people listening to me, um, it's just pretty cool to, uh, to get that feedback from her. So, um, this week, man, Listen, (laughs) this recording is happening the Friday before I release this episode. And this has just been one of those weeks where it's been so extremely busy that I have not really been able to prepare anything for an episode like I would want to. So today we are just going to go with the flow. And um, uh, one thing I do when I wake up on Friday mornings um is I always look to see what new music has released. And, you know, I'll see what new music has released. I'll listen to, you know, a snippet of it. And then if I like it, I add it to a playlist. If not, then I keep on moving. And Bizzle, who is, if you're not familiar with Bizzle, Bizzle is a Christian hip hop artist. And he is probably one of the most unapologetic Christian hip hop artist there is, as well as just one of the most, not just unapologetically Christian, he's unapologetically authentic and he's not afraid to touch on different topics. Like even like he, he was controversial back in the day, just in the sense of, um, I guess one of the songs that he did, he, um, he took a Jay-Z beat and rapped over it, but I guess some of the words that he said people had an issue with, but even today, like he's still touching on a lot of tough topics or hard subjects that people don't like to talk about, um, or like to dance around. And he's like, nah, I'm gonna talk about this. (laughs) And he doesn't choose sides either. Like that's what, that's what I love the most. Like similar to like how I had the podcast last week, topic topics at divide America. If you have not listened to it, go ahead and listen to it. But you know, where I'm just talking about different things that really divide us. Like he talks about, he raps about different things that divide us and talks about the issues with both sides. And he released a new song today and the new song is called Poppin' or Poppin' Remix. And one of the lines that he had near the end of the song, like I was like, yo, I really feel that right there. And he said, so you can make me the bad guy too, but as long as you're anti-Christ, I'm anti-you. And I was like, Yo, that is a whole bar. And I I feel like that I feel I feel that so much just in a sense where knowing his music and just hearing him talk and knowing his heart. I mean, granted, I don't know him personally, but knowing his heart, like he doesn't he doesn't dislike anybody. He doesn't hate anybody like he he genuinely, you know, loves for, for people and he prays for people. Um, But what I believe where I believe he was coming from in the song is saying, you know, people make. Christians, the bad guy because of what their belief is or what their stance is or whatever. And, and that's cool. Like you can make me the bad guy if you want to, but as long as you're anti Christ, I'm anti you and anti you in the sense of, um, you, you like doing this thing that I don't agree with you, you go do you, but I'm anti that, you know, or you go to these places that, you know, cool. Like you do you, but I'm anti that. And again, it's like, it's no disrespect towards anybody, but at the same time, if, if what my, if where my stance is or what my belief is in Christ offends you, then so be it. Because at the end of the day, I got to answer to God. I don't have to answer to you. So if you anti Christ, 
I'm anti you. <laughs> That's where I'm at with that, man. That's where I'm at with that. Um, but just, you know, kind of going in line with the same vein, not necessarily in regards to music. One thing that I do want to do that I'm thinking while I'm thinking about it, because I might forget if I don't do it now. But one thing that I do want to do or at least start doing um, every episode is just shouting out other creatives and you know, whether it's their business, their creative venture, what it, whatever it is that they're doing, like, I just want to be able to shout out other creators. So I'm going to try to do that one creator an episode and we'll see how many weeks I can do this in a row because, well, you know, I'll be able to do this. So the first person I want to shout out, shout out is my sister Aurelia and she has her own podcast. I'm sure I've mentioned it on here before, but she has her own podcast called all the shenanigans and it's <laughs> what it says on Instagram, just spilling the tea of my life's shenanigans. Listen, let me tell you what just happened. And she really is thorough with her episodes. She really is thorough with what she'd be giving y'all. Like she really pours her heart out with, you know, I get the shenanigans of her life. Um, but at the same time, she often gives you word to go along with it as well. So I love listening to her podcast. She currently has um, three seasons out. Um, she's on a bit of a break right now. She's coming back with season four whenever she comes back. But again, y'all just go ahead and listen to her podcast. I know she's on Apple. I know she's on Spotify. Um, or wherever you can get your spot, your podcast. So again, go listen to her, her podcast, all the shenanigans. Um, so yeah, so in, in the same vein of just, you know, supporting and encouraging each other, um, I just, where, where I feel led to go today is just to talk about the importance of encouragement, but also networking. And people will often tell you, it's not just what you know, it's who you know, right? And I, I agree to an extent, you know, I, I, I agree it's not what you know, it's who you know, but I also believe it's what you can learn from who you know, because if you know these different people, but you're not learning anything from them, um, not necessarily because they aren't teaching you, but just because you aren't gleaning from them, you're not uh, trying to learn, then like, what is the, it doesn't really matter what you know. Um, at the same time, I think that what you know can also put you in places or open doors for you in different areas and di different um, arenas that your name may not have gotten you into, if that makes sense. Now, I remember, what was it, 2021? I think it was beginning of 2021. 2021, I was um, on YouTube well, let me say this. I started my YouTube channel in 2019 where I started uh, doing interviews and different things like that. Then the pandemic hit and I kind of shifted a bit. And then the end of 2020 going into 21, I started um, posting more content, not a lot, but I was posting, I was posting more content. And at the same time I was posting content, I was joining other, I guess, support groups. And one of those support groups was um, was on Clubhouse. This is when Clubhouse was a big thing. I don't know if Clubhouse is a thing now, but this is when Clubhouse was a thing. And just by me, I didn't even really talk on these groups, but just by me, just by me being a part of the group allowed somebody to see what I know because they then went in, um, they then went in looked at my YouTube page. And then once they saw my page, they invited me to a group. And honestly, at first I was like, yo, this is real sketchy. Cause he reached out to me and I'm like, yo, who is this? Like, I have no idea who this dude is. Um, but he invited me to this YouTube group and, uh, I decided to join and joining this group because of what I knew and what I was doing was one of the best things that I could have done. And it helped my channel grow significantly. Now, I mean, I technically still have a small channel, but like where I was at that point compared to where, um, to what I grew to was, was a very significant pace or a very significant amount. I think, cause I think when I joined that group, I may have had something like, 50 subscribers. Maybe I had a little bit more than 50 sub subscribers. I think it was less than that though. 
Um, but it was like, I'll say 50 subscribers. And through that group, just us encouraging each other, us, you know, um, rallying together, us pushing each other, us, you know, collaborate. Well, I don't, so, some people collaborated and did content. Like we would have conversations with each other and built relationships. Like my, my channel went from like 50 something to over 300 something. And, you know, I, I don't, I don't take that lightly. Just again, what I knew got me in this door to be around other YouTube creators. And we did something, um, what part of the thing that helped grow my channel was we did something called uh, March Madness, where we had to post a video every single day throughout the month of March. And dog, that joint was <laughs> exhausting. It was exhausting, but it stretched me and it grew me and it helped me grow as a content creator. It helped me grow in in ways that I that I didn't realize I could grow as a as a content creator, um, if that makes sense. Um, but it was it was a very fulfilling and. Um, again, I, I built relationships with these other people and my channel, uh, began to grow and it, which, which of course allows more people to see my product, um, and also help me grow my knowledge and, okay, I need to make sure that, it, you know, my, my title is very important. Like, what is my title of my video? What is, what details do I have in my description? What, um, what tags do I have? Like, how am I sharing my video? Am I sharing it with anybody or am I just keeping it to myself? Like, am I sharing it on, um, all different platforms? Like how, what, what am I doing for other people to, to put eyes on my content? These are the things that I did not know, uh, or did not know how important they were until I be, uh, became a part of this group. And they went from this group to also becoming part of another group or another couple of groups where it really helped me grow where they really helped me grow as a creator. And I just continue to learn and continue to glean things. And, um, I will say that what I knew got me through, you know, these initial doors, but who I met through some of these doors opened some more doors for some other creative content opportunities, you know? So again, what, who, you know, is important, but I think we, we overstate it so much that, that sometimes we undervalue the importance of what, of what we actually know as well, you know, because you might know somebody who can get you a job, but can you actually do the job once you get in the position? You know, you might know somebody who can who can get you to where you need to be. But what are you actually going to do when you get there? You know, I think about um, I think about ooh, who is it? I think I think it's two different stories. But, you know, I think about um, uh, one. There, there was a man in the Bible who was lame and his friends carried him. Um, I can't remember if it was they carried him to Jesus or if they carried him to a pool. I think they carried him to Jesus, but he, even he was carried, but then he still had to have faith and he still had to have an action part on his own. Like it wasn't enough for to, to just know people who could get him there because he still had to take an action step too. So all, all I'm saying is like, it's important that we don't just rely on who we know. Like we actively have to take steps um, and make progress. Uh, we have to, we have to actively make progress in the areas of what we know as well, because I've seen and have known people who know, who, who know people, but they can't do the job when they get in the position. And it's unfortunate because it's like, we want to help each other. We want to help people. But at the same time, realistically, like we all, we also have to think about it. We have to think about it in a sense, like my name is on the line too. You know, can I, trust this person with this job? Can I trust this person to, to do whatever it is that I'm, that I'm opening the door for, or that God is leading me to open the door for. So, well, then again, if God is leading you to it, then it don't really matter. But my point is that networking is very important because when we network, it, it creates opportunities, not just for us, but for other people as well. You know, it, it, it creates the opportunity for, for, 
relationships to be built. It creates the opportunity for doors to open. It, it creates the opportunity uh, for other people to rise up or, you know, other platforms or creative things to, to come out of it. Um, uh, one thing that uh, I used to do was uh, I used to host open mic events. And when I would host these open mic events, not open mic, you know, it was open mic, yes. When I used to host, host these open mic events, um, I used to invite a lot of different young adults from a lot of different places. And to just see them all like come together and see how some relationships were formed from those events, you know, how people, you know, became cool, or became friends and different things like that from these different events. Like, I, I love to sit back and watch different things like that. I love to sit back and watch people network. I love to sit back and, and watch people collab and do different things. Like I've, I've done videos and content with people who I would not have known otherwise unless it was by networking. You know, I, I just recently did a podcast with somebody or was featured on a podcast with somebody who I met through one of these YouTube groups that I <laughs> that I connected with. Um, uh, I, I recently worked a wedding um, as a videographer with someone who I met through somebody I connected with, you know, so networking creates opportunities that you're um, that you may not have had otherwise, you know, but sometimes as, as creatives, like we want to be creative, but we don't know how to be creative outside of our own little box. Like we want to create, but we don't want to reach out to other people. We want to create, but we don't want to do the extra work that it, that it takes to, to, to market or, um, to, like to market our creativity or, you know, to really, uh, put ourselves out there cause we don't like attention. But if you're a creative and you're doing what God is telling you to do, you really don't have no choice, but to put yourself out there, you know, because in, in order for you to, in order for you to grow as a creative, in order for your content to really get out there, you really have to market yourself well, as well as you really have to put yourself out there. And this has come from somebody who hates the, the marketing side of it and pushing, you know, con I mean, excuse me, I love to, to push content out there, but I hate like posting it everywhere. Like I really got, wish I could just like, I think part of it too is just cause you know, you never know how people are going to receive you, you know? So sometimes like it's an insecure thought or you're just like, you're really hard on yourself and you don't want to hear anybody say that they don't like your content. But again, you, if, if, if one person says that they don't like it, but nine do, you can't not post it because of that one person. You have to push it for the other nine. Or if, if people in general just have issues uh, or excuse me, if people in general just aren't listening to your content, but you have that one person, that one person who's like, man, I can really relate to that. Or man, I really love it. You got it. Like you have to push it out there. You know, as a creative, you learn that sometimes the things that you do, it's not for everybody. But at the same time, am I not, am I not doing it because it's not for everybody or am I doing it for those that it does reach? Am I doing it for those who, who, who can relate? Am I doing it for those who, who I can impact? If I chose not to encourage people just because there are some people who are like, yeah, he ain't for me. Like I will be missing out on a whole crop of people who, you know, who, who do appreciate my, my encouragement, who do appreciate, you know, my prayers or whatever. So again, I'm just saying all that to say like what you do as a creative is important, but you also have to share. You also have to put yourself out there. You always, you also have to put yourself in a position to be seen. You also have to put yourself um, or posture yourself in such a way that um, you can be seen, but you can also like receive love. You can also receive support. Sometimes people, they want to support you. They just don't know that you're, they just don't know what to support. Like, you know, I've had people say, oh, you do a podcast. I had no idea you did a podcast. Have you shared it? Have you posted it? You know, cause at first I wasn't, you know, sharing or, or I wasn't always posting about it, you know? So, but people want to support. I've, I've learned that people want to support you. You just have to, um, you have to open yourself up and make yourself available to be put in a position to support. So again, what, um, I still, I still go with is what you, it's, it's what you know over who, you know, but with what you know, 
you know, you, it, it's important that you do know certain things once you find yourselves connected to certain people. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I got today, y'all. I think that's all I got today. But network, network, what, whatever your creative thing is, whatever your creative niche is, whether you're a singer, whether you're a dancer, whether you're a YouTuber, a podcast or whatever, like whatever you do, just reach out and collaborate with others. And don't get me wrong. Sometimes networking can be exhausting. Like it can be really exhausting. I found myself in certain YouTube groups where I'm like, this, this takes way too much time, effort and energy. And I'm just... <laughs> I'm just not for it. But when you truly network and connect with people who genuinely want nothing but the best for you versus I'm only doing this because I want to get something out of it, then, you know, like it's it's so rewarding. It's so rewarding. But that's why we can't give up just because we get frustrated. We can't give up just because somebody um, upset us. You know, we can't we can't give up just because we're not seeing the results that we want to. They are. Yes. There are some people who I, I guess are quote unquote internet or overnight sensations and their channel or their content blew up overnight. But I guarantee you because I've seen it, there are many creatives who blew up overnight and then got burnt out and just stopped posting. They got, they got burnt out and don't even create anymore. Life happens and they're like, yeah, I just don't want to do this anymore. Don't worry about what what it looks like for somebody else. Just go at it at the pace that God like just go at it at God's pace for you. You know, if that pace is slow, then go slow. If that pace is fast then go fast. But just allow the Lord to lead you and allow the Lord to pace you. And that through his pacing, um, through the Lord's pacing, you will you will reach a place where you can where you can um, where the multitudes will be blessed by your content, but never get caught up in the numbers. Do not get caught up in the numbers because the numbers will stress you out. They will frustrate you. They will make you feel like, you know, man, so and so has been doing it shorter than me, but they have this like they have this amount of number. They have this number. Like, don't worry about all that. Do not worry about all that. You know, just create and push yourself out there. Just create. And the people you're going to reach are the people you're going to reach, you know, but also understand like you, you don't know, like many times people complain because they say so-and-so has a, a larger following than them. But one, you don't know how, so, how so-and-so got that following, you know, maybe they did it because they paid for followers, which you should never do. Maybe they did it because they're working, you know, a lot more hours than what you are or many more hours than what you are. Or maybe they're doing it again, you know, just because they're they're marketing themselves and pushing themselves out there. But again, we can't get caught up in all that. We just got to we can we can only control what we can control. So push yourself out there, network, encourage somebody else and just, you know, I don't want to say go with the flow, but I'm going to say go with the flow. Go with the flow of God. Boom. Go with the flow of God. So. Anyway, y'all, that's all I got for today. Until next time.